When you think of Pacific Rim's most powerful kaiju, the most common answer is the Mega Kaiju, and there's good reason for that being made up of two Category 4s and a Category 5 Kaiju. He is debatably the most powerful thing in the Pacific Rim universe. But what if you put him against the most dangerous thing in the Pacific Rim universe? Being responsible for the death of Kaiju like Mudovor, Slatterns, Acid Quills, and Leatherbacks. And the destruction of Jaegers, such as November Ajax, Valor Omega, Titan Redeemer, Horizon Bravo, Chaos Nemesis, and 23 Drone Jaegers. All these deaths being caused by the self-aware Kaiju Jaeger hybrid, Apex. Now, the more common debate is Mega Kaiju versus Breacher, as Breacher is the only Category 6 Kaiju, not really, but more on that later, but to those who watch the Black, most can agree that Apex would demolish Breacher, as even though Breacher is said to be a Category 6, he could only dent the Mark III Atlas Destroyer. I mean, look at Raiju, a Category 4 Kaiju, absolutely tearing Gypsy Danger to shreds, who is also a Mark III, while Apex literally two-taps Kaiju that destroyed Jaegers such as Marauder, who is speculated to be a Mark V. So in my eyes, Apex is a much better choice than Breacher for this fight. Anyways, hello everybody, I'm Godzilla Guy, and today marks a special day. It is my first video where I fully step out of the Godzilla area. The Spectre Man ones don't count. As in the past, I've done Godzilla vs. Pacific Rim, so it's still a Godzilla-related video. So to all the new Pacific Rim fans watching, I hope I can please you all. And to any new viewers, consider subscribing for weekly kaiju content. For those who are new, I will run through the rules real quick. One, this is not a power scaling video. I've pointed out the flaws of power scaling many times in the past. Really, just watch any of my videos and you'll see me point something out. Two, we'll analyze categories such as strength, speed, durability, agility, IQ, battle intelligence, abilities, overall fighting skill, and finally, an X factor. But more on that later. And three, most of the time, whoever wins the most categories is the overall winner. Though sometimes, if the research I've done has me disagreeing with the outcome, I will give my reasoning on why I believe one competitor would win. And finally, you guys can always disagree in the comments. It wouldn't be a debate if there wasn't two different parties. There can be proof for either side of an argument. All I ask is that you guys be respectful to each other rather than cursing. Besides, that doesn't really help your point. Anyways, with all that yapping out the way, I hope you all enjoyed the video. So, let's dive in. First up is their strength. We'll be going over their respective feats in this category to see who can lift more. Now, firstly, the Mega Kaiju. He showed when he punched the ground, he was able to output enough energy to send all the Jaegers flying backwards. All the Jaegers in Pacific Rim Uprising weighed around 8,000 tons. Though, this could be due to the fact that Raijin had just been ripped apart and put back together, so there was a lot of kinetic energy in the forming process. That, along with the bombardment of missiles that he had just gotten hit with seconds before. But we'll come back to his kinetic energy stuff later. The Mega Kaiju has shown you to ragdoll Jaegers with ease, such as ripping Bracer Phoenix apart in its mouth, limb from limb. He also, with a single tail swipe, slashed right through Saber Athena. Later, with a simple headbutt, he's able to send Gypsy Avenger flying into the city. But his best feat is when he effortlessly throws around Guardian Bravo, a force to slam him through countless buildings. Now, on to Apex. Well, firstly, this category is going to be difficult to answer, and it's based on mostly speculation and some, you know, widely accepted headcanon. But we'll keep it realistic as possible. Firstly, we know Apex, just like the Mega Kaiju, is able to ragdoll Jaegers. I mean, just looking at the scattered Jaeger remains in the Kaiju Jaeger Death Valley area, I mean, just looking at the remains, it was a pretty one-sided battle. One of his best feats, though, is when he slammed the Acid Quill. Now, we don't know how much they weigh. If we make an educated guess, they're somewhere around 2,300 tons. So, who wins strength? Strength is going to be a tie. But you could lean towards the Mega Kaiju, but that's up to you. Next up is speed. And I don't really think this is a debate. Apex pretty easily takes it. Now into durability, starting with the Mega Kaiju. He was easily able to take all the Jaeger's attacks, only being damaged at his brittle weak point of his tusk by Bracer Phoenix when using the M19 Morningstar. Also, thanks to Raijin's face shield, he has an almost exoskeleton-like body, providing great resistance to almost any attacks, though when it comes to blades and generally sharp things, he doesn't hold up too well. Now onto Apex. Now this is difficult to answer as Apex is just a drone Jaeger. And as we see in Uprising, one of the drone Jaegers does die from the M19 Morningstar. Then as we said, the Mega Kaiju just tanks and moves on. I mean, we know Apex is a buffed drone, but we're not sure how buffed. When it comes to durability, pretty easily, it's the Mega Kaiju. Next up is Agility. Now surprisingly, the Mega Kaiju is more agile than you'd think, being able to quickly turn around to fight others and move about with ease. Now while it still, again, easily goes to Apex, I just wanted to clear up the misconception that the Mega Kaiju is a slow, lumbering tank. Next up is their IQ. Now, the Mega Kaiju doesn't really show much thinking, and the three Kaiju that make him up also reflect that. The only time he really plans out an attack and thinks is when he grabs Guardian Bravo's whip and throws him around. Now onto Apex, and yeah, he steals this category, showing a wide range of emotion, such as giving Atlas a helping hand, literally, and being able to feel boy's pain. But his biggest feat is when he overall willingly makes the ultimate sacrifice, letting himself get killed rather than hurting boy. 
so pretty easily Apex steals it. Next up is Battle Intelligence, who has fought more and knows how to fight better and adapt to their opponent. Now the Mega Kaiju sadly lacks in this category, only fighting four Jaegers, those being Gypsy Avenger, Guardian Bravo, Saber Athena, and Bracer Phoenix. Now into Apex, and again, he absolutely steals this. As you said at the start, he fights off Kaiju such as Slattern, Mutavores, Leatherbacks, and Acid Quills. Now, another interesting thing is that the ones that he's fighting may be stronger than the ones from the original. Give me a second to explain. As you see in the show, this old guy, I don't care enough to find his name, tells this newer Trespasser to go calm down the other Kaiju. Now, what's interesting is that these Kaiju he's telling Trespasser to go control are Category 3s and 4s, while Trespasser is only Category 1. Now, by no means am I saying this Trespasser is a Category 4 or 5. More, I'm saying this one is stronger than the one from Pacific Rim. This Kaiju Apex fight might also be buffed. As it would make sense, the Precursors are smart and wouldn't send out the same versions of a Kaiju. They would upgrade them as needed to fight the newer, faster, stronger, and newer, better weapons of the Jaegers. Oh, this one is some serious headcanon, so we can't really use it. While there is evidence to point to one thing, it doesn't make it factual. Now onto the Jaegers he's killed, those being November Ajax, Valor Omega, Titan Redeemer, Chaos Nemesis, Horizon Bravo, and like we said earlier, 23 drone Jaegers. So yeah, pretty easily, the winner for Battle Intelligence is Apex. Next up is their abilities. Now, the Mega Kaiju has two main ones and a theorized third. The Mega Kaiju gets his abilities from the Kaiju that make him up, getting the ability to absorb kinetic energy from Raijin, and being able to shoot spikes from his tail from Strikethorn. Now, the theorized third ability is the fact that Hakuja can burrow. So, since the Mega Kaiju got the abilities from the other Kaiju, he should be able to burrow. But, personally, I don't think he can just due to his immense size. Now, onto Apex. Firstly, he can forcefully drift with other beings. I mean, he does have to hold onto their head, but. You know, if he just grabs on a Mega Kaiju and just won't let go, he could probably do it, maybe. Being able to get into their minds and see their memories. Also, just like a normal drone, has missiles in his shoulders. Though he hasn't showcased this, but it's still reasonable to assume they're there. He is seemingly able to sense what other Kaiju are, being able to precisely find where Boy was in the entirety of Australia. Though, this ability is up for debate. So when it comes to abilities, it's pretty close, and you could say it's a tie, but I'm gonna have to give the very slight edge to the Mega Kaiju. Now into their fighting skills. Now, the Mega Kaiju is okay at this, as he just really knows how to use his body in the battle. He really just kind of flails around and hopes he hits stuff. Now into Apex. He has used Kaiju's bodies against them, like when he slams the Acid Quill using its tail. But going into speculation, being able to pretty easily kill the Kaiju such as Slattern and Leatherback requires some serious skill to do alone. So the winner for fighting skill is Apex. Now finally, onto their X Factor. So what do I mean by this? Well, I'm going over an advantage both fighters have over the other. And with this bit of info, we will decide the winner. Starting with the Mega Kaiju. Now, as we all know, the Mega Kaiju is able to absorb kinetic energy from any of the attacks that hit him, meaning any force that the Apex throws at him, he can just absorb and throw back. Now, this doesn't mean he's immune to attacks, as he can still get damaged. I just want to clarify that. I know, Pacific Rim fans, you guys already know that and are <laughs> generally pretty smart, but I need to clarify stuff like this because, uh, some Godzilla fans aren't the brightest. Now, onto Apex. Firstly, like we said earlier, Apex may be able to detect what other Kaiju are, so Mega Kaiju won't be able to hide, which would kind of already be difficult given his size. Now onto some speculation. Apex may know the Mega Kaiju has more than one brain, as at least one of the Kaiju that makes up the Mega Kaiju had two brains, as the three Kaiju that make up the Mega Kaiju suddenly gave him four brains. So if a Kaiju is possibly large enough, they may have more than one brain. And given Apex has fought off Slattern in the past, and if any Kaiju had a second brain to be Slattern, he may know the Mega Kaiju might have more than one. Again, that's just speculation. The most important factor is that Apex can counter the Mega Kaiju's kinetic energy absorption. Kinda as an attack with a lot of force would be something like a punch or a blast, but Apex almost always uses his claws as a knife to just cut right through the Mega Kaiju rather than punching. So when it comes to their X Factor, again, it's a tie. So with all the points gathered up, who would win? Well, with extreme difficulty, I'd have to give the very, very slight edge to Apex, though I could also see an outcome for Mega Kaiju, because the Mega Kaiju only really needs to land a few attacks, and Apex would be out of commission. On the other hand, Apex is very fast and agile, and most likely dodge most of his attacks. Now, there are two reasons why I see Apex winning over the Mega Kaiju, being Apex's hatred for the Mega Kaiju, and the fact, well, believe it or not, breaking news, it is confirmed that the Mega Kaiju is a Category 6. So firstly, what do I mean by his hatred? Well, Apex is neither on the Kaiju or Yeager's side. He hates them both. So putting him against the biggest Kaiju, he'd be so mad to the point of possible bloodlust. But onto the Category 6 thing. As you see here, back when Uprising came out, they sold NFTs, with a small description of each Kaiju and Jaeger. As you see here in the Mega Kaijus, he is a Category 6. Now, this is an iffy source, yeah, but it's the only source we have, so it is what it is. Now, we need to look at the sisters in the black. They have almost the entire black under their control, even Breacher. 
the Category 6 Kaiju. But why not Apex? I mean, they see how good he is at taking out Jaegers, and they already know about him. Well, I think it's that they try to tame him, but again, his hate for Kaiju and seeing these women that are worshipping them made him hate them. So as funny as this sounds, rather than getting Apex, they had to settle for a Category 6 Kaiju instead. So with all this info, like I said, with crazy difficulty, and needing to be very careful of the Mega Kaiju's tail, Apex should pull through. But as I said, you can always disagree. I hope you all enjoyed today's video. I really like Pacific Rim, so do expect more videos in the future. Also, please consider subscribing to help with the channel. It shows me that you like this content and want to see more. But to any returning fans, you know the deal. But as always, keep collecting. Guys, little guy, out. See ya.